Okay, just look down the lens here. <laughs> My name's Serena Pianka. I'm Nicole Overton. My name is India Elbadini. For me, an apprenticeship was the better option. I thought that the graduate job market was highly competitive and the apprenticeship being a seven year programme provided me with the stability that I was looking for. I prefer working and learning at the same time because it's more practical and there was no uni debt. It was just a great alternative, which was perfect for me. I wanted qualifications, I wanted a law degree, but I didn't want to go to university and I wanted to go to work, so it was the best thing for me to do. The best thing about the programme is that you go to law school and you work, so you get to put into practice what you're learning all the time. I get to qualify as a solicitor after seven years and I'm also gaining lots and lots of experience along the way which sets me up for my future career. My first day was really nerve-wracking and I expected to come in and not know what I was doing. But we came in, we got shown to our desks, we built a rapport with a lot of people, we were introduced to a lot of people. There was nothing really to worry about. We have junior and we have senior mentors and they're our first port of call if we need work or have any questions. When I was introduced to my mentors they made it really easy for me to know that I can talk to them if ever I had any troubles and issues about the workload I was getting. The kind of work that I do is actually very varied. So one day I could be doing drafting documents, another day I could be proofreading documents and contracts for transactional work. But every day is different. I thought juggling studying work would be quite difficult, but the Mondays that we are allocated allows me to get my preparation work for university done in time. And if I have to do any revision or go over anything, I have my commute and any time at the weekends to go over that. The biggest challenge is that you come into the law environment and I've just left school, sick form, and I've never studied law before. So to come into the firm and be surrounded by all the law jargon, but everyone's so good and they explain it. You kind of have to establish yourself. So you have to go out there and as Jones Day's open door policy says, knock on people's doors and get that work. To be a good apprentice, I think you definitely have to be self-motivated. and Someone who likes to venture out of their comfort zone, which was the most difficult thing for me to do at first. You have to be confident enough to walk the floors and introduce yourself to people. So that's definitely important. To actually come in and put into practice what you're learning is great.